Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for His children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. Welcome all of you daily sacrificers and welcome all of you followers of the path. I welcome you all, Rosarians, to this next topic in our Great Exodus series. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. Please become a member of triple grace.com. It's free. Just sign up with your email and a password. Then you will have access to all resources. Share all of our videos. There are so many videos at YouTube in our channel. Share them all with your friends and families. And bring them forth into the nation so that people will listen and hear about the truth. That they have to come out of the world and out of Babylon. I hope that you have watched yesterday's videos about and the day before about Haggai and the prophecy from Kim Shadwell that proves that all what we are teaching is truth and that the Lord is now calling even other prophets to tell them that we have to come out in the great exodus and today I will show you a great prophecy from a young Norwegian boy that will explain what will happen at Mount Zion what you will see is exactly what will happen when we be taken by the angels to the base of Mount Zion. And the mountain that you will see there is not Mount Sinai. The mountain that you will see there is Mount Zion. I hope that you will understand how important all these videos and all these teachings are. Please walk with us out of the world and out of Babylon onto the truth and righteous and narrow paths. Support our missions into the world. Allow us to gather the lost sheep together so that they can all be part of the great harvest, the harvest of the ages. And you are called forth to help it. You are called forth to be part of it. You can establish your own assembly of love and righteousness, a society of the rose in your neighborhood, and bring the people together in love, unity and support. This is your mission now, this is your calling now, this is your purpose and destiny in the earth. And on the path to Mount Zion, from the first to the sixth seal, we will bring in the great harvest for the Lord into his barn, so that none of his children will perish, but all of them will reach eternal life. Walk the path to Mount Zion and receive eternal life. Walk with us together. Support us in any way you can. Share your resources, support one another. Lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless. Act together as the first Christian did in the book of Acts. Read the book of Acts and read the book of Revelation. Then everything will become clear because all what we teach is written in the book of Revelation. And now let us go to this fantastic video of this boy who explains Mount Zion. I'm recording this to translate from my son's vision uh, to try to describe what he saw in his vision given by Jesus. Uh, on Friday, on Friday we will be at our houses and then at 7 o'clock in the morning in Sweden then everybody will be taken to this mountain uh, not on top of it but at the ground uh, by the sand there will be a mountain in Egypt. And uh, people, if, if they are asleep, they be, will be awakened uh, during this time uh, and prepared. And when they awaken, they... So, when you say so, and all of us are here, they are here, they will be able to rise in the sun. 
Det kommer att ta snabbt av sig. Jag bara ritar ett vanligt plastik. Uh, and when and when we'll be standing at the foot of this mountain, uh, the mountain will start to crumble. What uh, you're uh, At the earthquake, uh, uh, there won't be snow on the mountain. It's just he says it's just the way that he likes to draw the mountain. So there, when everything is rusted, so the whole bike will be over a thousand liters, or something million. Man borde säga som andra saker. Men då, då får vi två timmar och två minuter på oss mm. att springa till alla andra. Then we, uh, when this happens, we will get uh, two, two minutes, and then two, no, two hours uh, to warn, uh, to, to run to other people and warn. Och då varnar de. Och säga att det var Gud, Jesua. Och eh, sen, när det har gått två timmar. Och um, vi will uh, warn dem och säga att det är en akt av Jesus. Och när de två timmar är upp. Och då kommer vi komma hem. Och det kommer att vara som en helt vanlig dag. Och eh, på lördagen, för detta är på fredag, ja. This will be on Friday, the 30th of March. Uh, and after these two hours, we will all be going back to our uh, homes. Um, and this will be Friday and on Saturday. Ja, och sen är det bara en vanlig dag. Och sen på lördagen kommer vi också få en sån. Att man måste inte göra det just på lördag man kan. Och man kan bara göra det då. Men på lördagen så ska man. Så, så kan man gå runt och se till andra då också. Saturday will be given as a day for uh, last time to witness to people. Uh, it's not a must, says my son, but he says that uh, it, it, it'll be a time to uh, witness to others. Och sen så på söndagen. And then on Sunday, April 1st. Då kommer det vara uppryckning. Då kommer uppryckning att vara. Och då är uppryckningen, jag menar på uppryckningen det kommer vara så om man är i hus och så, då kommer det vara så här att först man blir lätt, man känner det själv när man bara börjar flyta iväg. Uh, at the day, uh, at Sunday, the day of rapture, uh, he says that all of a sudden, even if you're in the house, you will start to get light and start to... Uh, och sen... Jag kommer att kunna gå igenom tak och söka om man blir offer av sitt spöke. You will be like a ghost and you will start to float, he says, and you'll be able to float through the ceilings and the floors. If you live in an apartment, you will be floating through the ceilings and he describes it like being a ghost, just like. Och då, om man är he- <coughs> på himlen, inte denna himmel, alltså vår himmel här. Och då, det kommer vara så en ljusstråle. Det kommer vara så en ljusstråle, ja. Och där emellan kommer vi åka igenom. This uh, will be a, a light beam, uh, where, where you'll be like transported and go through. And this is like the star sky. Um, och sen här vet jag inte vad det är faktiskt. He says this part he doesn't really know what it is. Uh. Men där kommer vi då få eh, vad eh, för vingar som en ängel. Då kommer det vara en ängel. Yeah. When we go, go from... Uh, The earth sky, he says we're gonna pass through uh, something that he can't describe and there is going to be a transformation where we will become like uh, angel-like. 
Ya. Ya. Sen. Du är vi i himlen. Uh, and when we have passed through this, we will be in heaven. Uh, 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 with the Lord. You will be you will be looking beautiful and, uh, like as if you're going to a party, uh, a celebration. Up here, when you're being transformed, he says you'll be a lot more beautiful than you ever were on earth. Uh, Uh, 
he said that, that Jesus is saying something. He doesn't know what he's saying, but when he speaks, there is fire. The words are to us. The words become like fire, and it it, it goes down on up uh, at the level. Yeah. 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 